What's up everyone, Dabblade here with another preview guide for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. In this episode we're going to go over the new moves for the Dual Blades. Now the Dual Blades have been given a few new moves that Hunters can make use of. Of course they got the moves that utilise the Slinger and Clutch Claw, but on top of that they have moves to enable their combos to be more mobile, thanks to the fact that they can actually use the Clutch Claw as part of their combos. This new manoeuvrability should allow them to continuously damage a monster and provide survivability options at the same time. So the new moves include being able to aim your slinger whilst your weapons are unsheathed. This is done by holding L2. This can be then followed up by pressing R2 to fire whatever slinger ammunition you have equipped at the time. Or alternatively, you can press circle while holding L2 to fire your clutch claw. This will allow you to latch onto a monster, after which you can either press triangle to perform a standard attack that will cause monsters to drop slinger ammo or you can press circle to fire all of your remaining slinger ammunition and if a monster is tired or weak it will send them hurtling in the direction they are facing potentially causing them to run into a wall and knocking them out but what have the dual blades got in terms of other moves or well, sort of linked to the slinger is the evade shot after performing a triangle attack, whether it be in normal mode, demon mode or archdemon mode, you can press L2. This will perform an evading slinger burst, causing your hunter to dive in a direction whilst firing a slinger shot. This can be a great survivability tool because not only does it cause your hunter to move quite a distance, but it also can potentially stagger a monster depending on what slinger ammunition you have. As for other new moves, they have the special claw attack. This is an attack that utilizes the clutch claw. Now, whilst you're in demon mode, should you press L2 after a double round slash attack, you will perform an attack with the clutch claw. Double round slash attack is the circle, circle, circle combo. Anyway, after pressing L2 and performing the special claw attack, you will not only hit a monster, but you'll also latch onto them, enabling you to perform your standard clutch claw attacks, or in the case of the dual blades, you can perform the final new move available to the weapons called the spinning rising slash. After performing the spinning rising slash, which causes your hunter to rise into the air, you're able to follow this up with more moves, potentially causing an infinite combo loop so long as you have stamina. So the example we were given in the hunter's manual was to perform the double round slash combo, so that's circle, circle, circle while in demon mode, follow this up with L2, Follow that up with triangle to perform the spinning rising slash and as you land after performing the move go back into the circle 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 combo into the special claw attack with l2 back into the spinning rising slash with triangle rinse and repeat overall like i said it does feel that the dual blades have been given a lot more maneuverability options now at the time of this video i'm not 100 percent sure if using the combo that utilizes the spinning claw attack and spinning rising slash is more effective than doing combos that involve the blade dance but they definitely allow you to keep up with a monster. The combos that do utilize the blade dance normally lock your hunter in place, unable to move until the actual combo is finished. But with this new one, it means that you should be able to keep up with a monster even when it's moving about. On top of that, the evade shot allows for extra survivability and all in all, these have all improved the dual blades in my eyes. But anyway, that's about it for the new moves for the dual blades. As always, I will be releasing a more in-depth video going over the dual blades in Monster Hunter World Iceborne when the game releases in September. But until next time, I've been Darblade, bringing you a preview guide for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.